All right, so first off, welcome to Microtech Niles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the lineup here of what we have introduced in the last month and a half or so. So first off was the LUDD2, okay? So Large Underwater Demolition Team 2. This has been a popular lot knife. It was one of our originals from about the 99 or so. And what this is, is an, it's a switchblade, so it is an automatic knife. But what we've changed on it is we've added traction inserts on both sides. We've also added a backspacer, so it has a unique look to it, but still looks aesthetically like the original LUDT. But we've also added silicon carbide bearings. So before it didn't have the bearings, so it does have a very smooth operation. So that's the LUDT2. We also brought back the Cypher. The Cypher was very popular. I believe it was in John Wick 2. However, the original Cypher was a little bit longer, and so what we've done is we've shortened it up. It still retains the same blade shape and features from what you were known to see with the other Cypher. However, if you take a look at this, closer inspection, you'll see there's no chassis screws. We are able to design this without any type of chassis screws other than the screw that is on the pocket clip itself. So it does have a reversible pocket clip, it is a machined pocket clip, and it does have the silica carbide ball. This also introduced the dual fuel action. So with the dual fuel action, now you have a longer throw with the button, but less resistance so almost anyone can actuate this you can do this with an index finger and so that is the new cypher as far as the combat troodon it is gone under a complete design change it still aesthetically has the same outline but we've changed the texturing on the actual handle itself you can see some ac accent marks on it you'll also notice that we are missing two screws on the rear portion and we do have standard torque screws we don't need those two screws because we do have the billet pocket clip, which is reversible. Very similar to what you saw with the Cypher, but we did have to retain four chassis screws in the front side. The all familiar Scarab, and now we've introduced the Scarab 2. It does have chamfered edges, it has less traction tape, and it does have the dual fuel system as well. Super easy to deploy. The Scarab 2 also fires underwater. If you flip it over, it's going to have the common pocket clip that you're used to seeing on the Microtex. And I, one other thing I forgot to mention is, is, even though you might not see it, on the back side of the combat in the Cypher, you still have the tungsten glass break. And they are functioning glass breaks. Just realize automobile glass has changed quite a bit, and a lot of side impact glass is now being laminated. So that's something to be aware of. Now you guys have already seen the Hera, but new for SHOT Show, we actually introduced the Mini Hera. This is technically going to replace the UTX-70. Very easy to deploy, a couple different design shapes, but it does have the screws on the chassis, uh, but this is the Hera Mini. So that gives you a rundown of the new stuff that's come out in the last month and a half. There's a lot of changes and updates going on with the Nozzle Microtech, and just wanted to introduce you to them. Hey, my pleasure.